Hello YouTube. Uh, finally, I have an actual paper hard copy leaflet to show you. Uh, a little bit late, obviously, but Tesco never really had any until now. Uh, this is the first one I've managed to find. Um, so we'll have a look through it now. Anyway, there might be some people buying some last minute bits. So it is worth having a look still. Of course, you've got all the information on the back. This is an interesting one. Stock availability issues on the Northern Light selection box. So that box, which I'll show you in a moment, may be substituted with any of these, which are very, very similar. I think that the Stargazer is exactly the same. Uh, the Family Fun is very, very similar, and so is the Twilight. So that they're, they are pretty much identical, to be honest. Uh, not much wrong with them doing that, but it just shows that everybody this year is being affected by the supply issues. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Yeah, we'll start with those in a moment. So we'll start with the family friendly favourites, sparklers, pound for five sparklers, whoopie doo. Um, get your sparks from Lidl so you get 12 for two pound a bit better value. Star shaped sparklers, one pound fifty. They got star shaped sparklers, I don't really understand the point and I don't understand why they're so expensive either, but you know, that is what it is. Medusa missile cake, fiver, can't go wrong for a fiver. Everyone hates a missile cake because they make so much mess. Uh, if you're going to be environmentally friendly, don't buy a missile cake because the plastic just lasts for years. We're still finding missiles 10 years later. The lawnmower hasn't yet to eat them, um, but they're quite fun if you like those. Vampire fountain, been around for a while. Decent little fountain, that. Uh, 60 second burns, obviously with the flashing face. £7, a little bit more expensive than last year, but could be worse to be honest. Rainbow Fountain, uh, I believe that is a rewrap of the Peacock Fountain, um, which has been around for a little bit in a few shops. I think Epic stock it. Um, seven pounds. Yeah, it's a fountain. They are. They are. Um, I don't think it's the best. It's not. It's not the, uh, the fountain I'd recommend from Tesco this year. I'll show you that one in a moment. Um, but still, it's all right in it. Element shot tubes, five, four. Sorry for five pounds, but these standard shot tubes are punchy. Sixteen grams in each one. And the TNT equivalent this year, I think, is 10 grams. So if you're going to buy shot tubes, these are probably the ones to get. Uh, you've got the four elements there, earth, wind, fire, and water. Very exciting. Uh, they seem to come in a box as well, which is interesting. So they're trying to eco-friendly up the packaging. Particularly when COP26 is running at the moment, you might as well uh, have a go, really. Low noise selection, any three for £18. This is something they started doing this year, club car prices. I don't like it. It's sort of forcing people to have a club cup. They do it on all sorts of products now, um, but that's that's by the by, really. Um, for the, if you get three for eighteen pounds, the Gala Fountain seems to be pretty good. There's ninety grams of powder in this one. I've got a couple of these actually. Um, hoping they're going to be alright. I've not seen the effects. I haven't watched the video. Um, but you know, ninety grams, three for eighteen pounds. That's six quid each. Not too bad, really. Uh, you've also got the Carnival Selection Box, which I've done an unboxing for because I bought that as an extra little thing after I bought a couple of the fountains. Very, 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 very small. Can't emphasize that enough, but a bit of fun for the garden. And the Jubilee Rockets just don't bother for £7 or even for £6. Just be, they're just little farts. Better off with some Element Shot Tubes, nice and loud. On to the multi buys. So you've got the Northern Lights Selection Box, which is £15 or 2 for £20, with the Aurora Multi Shot Cake, which is also 2 for £20 or £15. Uh, this is the one with the supply issues, so you might get one of those other boxes instead. Again, they're all much muchness, really. Uh, looks to be, well, it tells you eight fountains, three shot tubes, three Roman candles, and a candle cake. Suggested medium noise, which is between 100 and 110 decibels, uh, comparing it on here to a leaf blower. You go, very noisy. Same with the Aurora cake there. Um, not often I say these, not this. I don't think I've ever said it, to be honest. But this year, for these prices, Tesco's little multi buys here are pretty much as good as it gets. Um, at Lidl's three for twenty pounds is the best sort of smaller stuff, um, but the selection box here is a little bit bigger for twenty pounds. The cake's probably much the same as the plasma attack at Lidl, to be fair, um, but this is about as good a value as it gets this year. Um, these are pretty good, really. No price rises. Some good punchy shot tubes in all of these. The cakes are pretty good, so you're not going to get much better really. Then you got Skyfire, twenty five or two for thirty five with the flame multi shot cake. Twenty two shots in there. I do think it's a fan piece, actually, that one. Um, I'm fairly sure the finale's fanned off the top of my head. Um, but again, yeah, not too bad for £35 for the two, really. Um, you can see there in the box, you've got quite a good selection. Shot tube, candle cake, two candles, two rockets, and ten fountains. So a nice little variety of effects there. The uh, candle's always really... Uh, sorry, the shot tube's always nice and punchy in these boxes. Same with the one, the Midnight Mania, which is 2 for 45 or 35 and the Showstopper cake. A big fan cake like this, 30 shot fan cake for 35, two for 45 pounds, pretty good value in my opinion. 
um, high noise on these ones. That's above 110 decibels, nice and punchy. Um, but yeah, even the Midnight Mania, really, yeah, you've got your 10 fountains, two rockets, two candles, two Roman candle cakes, and a shot tube. Um, but slightly bigger fountains, I can see there. I'm trying to get my head in the shadow. Uh, I can see some pieces that are a little bit larger in there, and obviously you get your shot tube as well, which, as I say, pretty noisy. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the extra large pieces. Uh, this is the stuff I advise strongly, don't buy. 50 quid for a grand finale. Uh, that is a 25 meter cake, so that will be over 500 grams of powder. So, you know, you could probably do worse, to be fair. Uh, it says it lasts 75 seconds and 100 shots. So you could be getting on for sort of 700, 750 grams in there, in which case it wouldn't be the worst buy. Uh, this pack firework party kit, 110 pounds, 233 combined shots. No, don't buy it. Uh, you got five pounds here, maybe six pounds if you're lucky there. That one, I think, was 20 quid, 10 pounds, 15 pounds in little the ceremony. That was quite a nice cake, actually. Again, this just doesn't add up to 110 pounds in value. Um, really isn't worth it, in my opinion, even though you get your seven cakes, two fountains, and the missile cake. But, you know, it's not really worth it. Uh, if you're spending 110 pounds, you want a package, you can speak to a specialist. They can sort you out something really decent. And then two for 120 pound on the big cake and the big selection box. Don't bother. Again, if you're spending that money, go to a specialist. They can sort you out with some properly decent stuff for that kind of money. So, yeah, that is Tesco's Fireworks 2021. Not a bad selection, actually, for Tesco's. I've poo-pooed them in the past this year with the price rises. They're about as good as it gets, really, particularly those multi-buy deals if you've got a club card. Again, I don't agree with that, but it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back. Maybe. I don't really know. Uh, this could be the last video of the season, to be fair. I doubt I'll get any more leaflets now. Um, if I'm able to film any fireworks when I light them on Saturday, I will do. If not, that'll be it for the season. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Cheers.